let's look at using it to set up your um, home service or what you need to do when you are operating a home service. With a home service, in this case, your roaming users go to another institution and the auth requests are sent back to you from the NERPS. So from the point of view of the, of the orbs, the NERPS is a client, so it will be sending requests to you. So you'll need to configure that. But support server helps you, well, it's the way that you configure the NERPS. Um, so from the point of view of the NERPS, the orbs is a remote radius server, it's an authenticator. Okay, so you need to register your orbs. Um, you also need to have a realm registered on support server. You can create sub realms yourself if you wish. If you have a requirement for an additional realm uh, that you own or manage the uh, domain name, you can request that uh, and we can add that to support server. Um, Okay, and it's the same really as the visited service, so the ORPS um, generates um, shared secrets. So let's have a look at the screens to do that. Um, so on the configure page, scroll down to the realms panel. These are the realms that would be configured for you. This is the example institution, uh, Camford. If you want to add a sub realm, you just click on add realm. Um, the top level realm you'll need to request from us. So just raise the ticket for that. So how do you change the status of your ORPS? So we, you previously registered an ORPS uh, and set it as a visited, um, to support a visited service. So you click on the uh, ORPS name, the dialogue panel comes up again. So this time, you click the box for authenticate requests. Go down to the bottom, click on save, and at the next hourly refresh, that will go into the NERPS configuration. As um, a home service provider, your users will be roaming to other institutions. So you'll be wanting to test that uh, your, your service supports them and the support server has got a whole host of diagnostic tools at your disposal. So you go over to the troubleshoot page. In the blue test panel, you select the ORPS you wish the roaming user tests or the other tests to be directed to. So you select your target ORPS you can select which roaming server, which NERPS you want the test to come from. Um, this is quite important because each of the NERPS has got a different IP address and it's quite possible for errors to be made when you are um, setting those um, remote uh, clients and remote radius servers up in your config. Um, this helps you to check that you've got it right for each of the configs, each of the um, IP addresses of the NERPS. So you select your, your source um, from which the, the tests will be coming. You can um, set various um, parameters here. IPv6, um, RFC will check that your radius server will accept authentication requests with an anonymous outer identity. Lots of users or some users may be aware of this and may wish to preserve their privacy. So they may wish to withhold their user ID from the outer identity. Of course, they can't hide it from the inner identity because that's what user authentication is all about. Um, chargeable user identity can be checked but this is something I'm really pleased about. There's a new feature here for checking that your uh, radius server can support T, um, TLS 1.2. So you just tick the box there and 
the roaming authentication test will only um, negotiate TLS 1.2. So if your ORPS doesn't support TLS 1.2, uh, there'll be a fail um, notification come up here when you run the test. Right. Um, okay, I've been talking about roaming user authentication tests. So you can set, you can choose these tests, different EAP methods. Most people, of course, um, use PEEP MS Chat V2, but the, um, the test does support different EAP methods. This test does not check, it doesn't do server certificate validation. So it's, it's like one of those tests that you do as part of a whole suite of tests that get more sophisticated. Uh, you know, so you can test more uh, features of your service. One of the very important things you need to check is that your service certificate is valid and can uh, support your roaming users. So if you click on certificate check, the support server will um, analyze the debug of the of the test that sits behind these and will validate the server certificate. I haven't really got time to go into that and I'm, I don't have any um, screen prints of the results of these tests, but you'll get a, an OK or a fail um, or a warn as a result of the certificate check. The roaming authentication tests, you may get no response, which is bad. Um, you may get a reject, which is OK. Um, you may have set your orbs to, to not respond or, or to send uh, a reject. Uh, particularly if you don't support anonymous adder identity, but hopefully you'll get an OK. And as you'll have seen from the recent email from us, there's now a time, um, a time um, measure of the authentication test. So if it's a, a very long time or if the time increases, this will be an indication that you need to investigate further. Um, yeah, ICMP is really useful. It just checks that there is basic network connectivity um, in this dynamic world where IP addresses change and people change their uh, radius servers around. Um, firewall, or they change their firewalls. Quite often, you know, configuration doesn't keep up to uh, up with all of that. So IPM. ICMP just checks that we're actually getting through to your orbs. Um, it didn't, you know, it gives a, a hint as to where to look in the first instance. So again, there's lots of information available um, by clicking on the, uh, the help button there. Uh, for the home service, um, you need to just um, tell us that you're home visited. So you go over to the configure page on organization settings, service type, click on home visited and click save. And then you need, <laughs> there's a, that's as far as we can go. You need to do all the hard work on your sites to set up your orbs to handle auth requests from your wireless LAN controller and from the national proxies and so on. Um, but there's lots of guidance on how to do this on the community website. <laughs>